Hey everyone, so before we begin with our video, we would like to make a small request. Kindly subscribe to our channel and like the video if it helps you and also share it with your friends who may benefit from the same. In this video, we will be showing how you could simulate a 6 pulse rectifier. So for that first, we will need 6 thyristors and um, each thyristors will be placed on, 2 thyristors will be placed on each branch. So let's just name the thyristors right as well. It'll be one, three, five, and four, six, two. Okay, and now we'll need a three phase source. You can either take three single phase sources or you can take one three phase source. Both of them would work. So, three phase source. And each phase will be connected to each branch. One branch. Let's make it, let's remove all the internal impedances and make it um, 100 volts and 50 hertz. Okay, so now we'll also need an RLC branch. So we'll make it into an RL branch, an RL load basically. And we'll need six different pulse generators for each um, thyristor. So before we um, begin putting in the values of each pulse generator, I would show you how each, how we came to each value. Thyristor um, pair conducts for 60 degrees and you have each thyristor conducting for 120 degrees. So you basically have six thyristor pairs. So 6 into 60 is uh, 360 degrees and uh, so how we'll design this 6 pulse generator is you will need each thyristor pair to conduct for 60, each thyristor conducts for 120 degrees and so all the thyristors that is that are on the same side so T1, T3 and T5 must all have 120 degrees phase delay before that trigger. So the phase delay between T1 and T3 T3 must be 120, the, the phase delay between T3 and T5 must be 120, the phase delay between T5 and T1 must be 120. Now similarly, T4 and T6 and T2 must all have 120 degrees as well. And um, diagonal thyristors, for instance T1 and T2, T3 and T4, T5 and T6 must have 60 degrees phase delay between each other. And thyristors in series, that is on the same branch, T1, T4, T3, T6, T5, T2 must have 180 degrees phase delay between each of them. So how do you cal calculate the phase delay in seconds for a 50 hertz is 0 0.02 into delay in degrees divided by 360. So say for instance you want a 60 degree phase delay. So it will be 0 0.02 into 60 divided by 360. So that will be um, 0. 0, 0, 0, 3, 3, 3, 3. So that will be your phase delay. So that's how you calculate it. Since it's a thyristor based rectifier, you can keep the pulse duration to 5% or else you will have to be around 33%. And um, you could also make sure that um, the period is 0 0.02 seconds because 1 by 50 is 0 0.02, 50 hertz. And yeah, so now we'll take the go to block. We'll um, connect the each go to block to one pulse generator. This just makes the simulation look much neater. So we'll name the go to blocks as well.
and uh, to see the output waveforms you'll, you'll, you'll need a, a scope and a voltage measurement block and none of this would work if we do not have a power GUI block so that's also essential let's take a current measurement and a voltage measurement block to see the current and voltages So, I think I made a mistake, yeah. So four and six have to be interchanged. Now when you simulate the circuit, so as you can see from um, zero to 0, 0.02 seconds and 0 0.02 to 0. 0, 0.04 seconds you can see six peaks so that's basically because it's a six pulse converter so this is how your output should be lo should look so that's it for this video hopefully you found it useful kindly like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to our channel if you would like to see more of such content and do check out our other videos as well thank you